Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021 tutorial. On this one, I'm going to show you how to access free transitions or MOGERTs, M-O-G-R-T is the, is the file extension, inside Adobe Premiere Pro without having to go download extensions or download uh, packages off the internet. Just going to show you how to do it just without any of that nonsense. So here's the first thing I'll show you. I've got a picture of a, I've got a video of a doggy, and then I've got a simple transition, an arrow transition, and then I got another shot of another pupper dog. I'm going to show you how to get that transition and lots of others in this video. I'm going to delete that transition, so we're starting from the beginning. Here we go. I've got a video, like I said, and then another video. The first step, and in all probability, you're working in the editing um, workspace. The first thing you want to do is you want to go up to your workspaces and click on graphics. We're going to be working in the graphics workspace and you're going to see on your right side essential graphics. If you do not see this, you will want to go to window and make sure that there is a check mark beside essential graphics. Okay, great. Now, instead of clicking on edit, and I believe it usually defaults to edit, what we want to do is we want to click on browse. And when you click on browse, I'm going to delete that part of me. You're going to get a you're going to get a whole bunch of your default installed MoGerts is what they're called or motion graphic templates. Most of these aren't transitions, but if you want to take a look, you type in transition here and hit enter. For me, I have a whole bunch of transitions already pre-built. Let's take a look at this one. This is a standard one. What you could do, and this is step one, I'll show you a few other options, is you just left click on visual trends, this transition, whatever it might be. I'm going to put it on my timeline, just like I did there. I'm going to center it so half of it's on one side and half of it's on the other side, in there about. So it's in between the two videos. There's video one, transition on top, video two. When we do that, I'm going to go ahead and left spacebar here. I'm just going to click the spacebar. And you're going to see here that we have a transition. Now, there's a good chance that transition doesn't work for you. But if you're just looking for a simple option, that's the first way to do it. I'm going to delete that version. I'm going to go back to the essential graphics. I'm going to click on Browse. And instead of, when I type in transition here, instead of being on my templates, we're going to right click, and I'll just drag this up so you can, or we're going to left click, pardon me, on Adobe Stock. When we do that, you're going to see here a search bar, and then you're going to see free and premium. What we're going to do is we're going to type in transition, like we did last time. We're on Adobe Stock, left click the check mark by free, and of course that didn't work, so I'm going to do it again, transition, and then I'm going to hit enter. When I do that, you're going to see that we have five pages of transitions that are free to use, and you don't have to go to any external sites to download and use them. Also, if you don't see these smaller thumbnails, there's a very good chance that you're going to see big thumbnails like this. You can decrease the size of it just here with this little slider at the bottom. Let's go with this size. Now, I'm going to look at them. You can see that as I hover over them, it sort of shows you what the transition is and isn't. So, this one here is the arrows that we were using, but maybe, maybe we want a triangle slice. These are very, very, very common when you have shape layers being used for transitions. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that onto the timeline like I just did there. I'm going to move it so that it's approximately in the middle. And then let's see what we got here. I'm going to go left click on it. Or pardon me, I'm going to hit space bar. And when I do that, there we go. We've got a nice simple transition. And it's a little bit slow because it's it uses a lot of horsepower to, to pop this out, but there we go. We've got a shape in, shape out. Now, for those of you that want to go a little further, you can left click on the transition like I have just done there, and you can go deeper. So, what you can do is you can go ahead and make changes either to the shape. So, if I'm hovering over it and I see the blue triangle, I can adjust, as you'll see here, where the points are, the positions. I could change the position down or up just like I did there by scrolling it. You can also go ahead and change the color if you want to make it instead of a blue fill. Let's say I want to go with a red fill because what the heck. 
presto, you can modify, you can make changes to the transitions. If the transition has text in it, you'll be able to go ahead and double click on the text and change what it says. And these are all free, no websites, no nonsense, guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I've got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.